What if I told you India's most terrifying weapon isn't even meant for this planet? We've covered some jaw-dropping Indian weapons on this channel, but nothing comes close to what you're about to witness. This isn't just a leap in defense technology. It's a warning shot to the entire world. India is no longer aiming to keep up with the superpowers. It's preparing to overtake them, and not just on Earth. This is about global dominance that reaches beyond our planet. What you're about to see isn't science fiction. It's India's real plan to change the rules of warfare forever. So brace yourself, because this video isn't just going to shake the world, it's going to shake the universe. Most people live under the illusion that war is about tanks, fighter jets, and soldiers on the ground. But the deadliest wars of the future? They will be fought in silence, from space. There are threats lurking above us, threats so powerful, so catastrophic, that 90% of the population has no idea they even exist. And yet, they could wipe out a nation in seconds. Let me paint you a nightmare. An ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile, doesn't just fly. It leaves the Earth's atmosphere, curves through the vacuum of space at hypersonic speed, then re-enters with just seconds before impact. If your missile defense isn't perfect, you're ash before you even hear the sirens. But that's not the scariest part. What if that warhead never lands? What if it detonates in space, high above your country? The result? A devastating EMP blast that fries your entire civilization, communications, power grids, satellites, defenses, everything. According to a U.S. military analysis, if a hostile nation pulled this off against America, 90% of the population could die within two months. This isn't a movie, it's today's reality. And this is just one of the many invisible threats orbiting above us. Satellites aren't just for watching TV or checking Google Maps. They are weapons. They are spies. They are triggers for the next world war. The United States is already preparing. China is racing to dominate orbit. And India? India isn't just watching. It's preparing to win tomorrow's war, not by engaging in it, but by being so ready, the war ends before it even begins. And in the next two sections, we'll reveal two weapons so powerful they make India untouchable, forcing even the world's superpowers to think twice before risking war. Let me ask you a billion dollar question. How do you stop a hypersonic missile flying at Mach 10 twisting and turning to dodge every interceptor you throw at it. With another missile, how fast would that need to be? Mach 20. Even then, you're still not guaranteed a hit, because the faster the missile, the harder it becomes to intercept. Traditional defenses? They're already falling behind. Now let me ask you something else. What's the most sci-fi, Hollywood-style weapon we used to laugh off as impossible? Back in the early 2000s, it was the laser weapon. Today, it's no longer fiction. It's one of the most promising technologies on Earth. Why? Because it can destroy a $200 drone for less than $10. If your enemy decides to swarm you with hundreds of cheap drones, you need a solution that doesn't bankrupt your entire military. Laser weapons are that solution. But that's not even the most impressive part. Lasers are the fastest weapons on the planet. They travel at the speed of light. You don't dodge them, you don't outrun them. Once fired, it's over. That's why the US once tested a laser mounted on a Boeing 747 to shoot down ballistic missiles in midair. Now imagine this, what if you mounted that laser on a satellite floating in orbit above Earth? Because here's the truth, on Earth, lasers are limited by clouds, dust, and atmosphere. But in the vacuum of space, they become over 20 times more efficient. A satellite-powered laser drawing unlimited energy from the sun could shoot down enemy satellites or even vaporize ICBMs before they leave the atmosphere. In India, India is preparing for that exact future. The first step is already underway. A laser air defense system developed by DRDO designed to neutralize swarms of low-cost drones, especially the kind China provides to Pakistan. But this is only phase one. India's robust space program, spearheaded by ISRO, is already laying the foundation to field powerful, space-based laser systems. And when that happens, India won't just defend its skies, it'll control the space above them too. But there's a problem. This future is coming fast, but it's not here yet. So how does India defend against today's threats? 
against nukes, satellites, and incoming missiles from hostile neighbors? That's where India's most secretive weapon comes in, a weapon only the U.S. and Russia have mastered until now. What's the one thing Russia is feared for above all else? Missiles. Not just any missiles, but the kind that turned Russia into a global defense superpower, surface-to-air missiles, or SAMs. From the legendary S-300 to the game-changing S-400, Russia built a reputation as the undisputed master of missile defense. That's why even NATO ally Turkey bought the S-400, risking U.S. sanctions. India did the same. But now India is doing something no one expected. It's trying to beat Russia at its own game. Yes, India already operates the S-400 to protect its skies from ballistic missiles. But that's not enough anymore, because India isn't just preparing for defense. It's building something so advanced it could make the S-400 look like yesterday's news. This new initiative, Project Kusha, a next-generation missile defense system designed with one goal, total protection from Earth's surface to the edge of space. Here's what makes it terrifying. Instead of relying on explosive warheads, Project Kusha uses hit-to-kill technology. What does that mean? It's like hitting a missile with a steel arrow at hypersonic speed, piercing it and detonating it midair. Here's how it works. The first interceptor strikes targets at 400 kilometers. The second hits at 250 kilometers. The third at 150 kilometers. Three chances, almost no escape. And here's the real twist. Any system that can shoot down an ICBM in space can also shoot down satellites. This isn't just missile defense anymore. It's anti-satellite warfare. It's a signal to the world. India is preparing for multi-domain dominance because once you can knock out enemy aircraft, missiles and satellites before they even reach your border, you're not just defending territory. You're shaping the battlefield. You're winning the war before it starts. India is no longer following Russia's lead. It's rewriting the rule book on Earth and beyond. And now, there's only one frontier left to conquer. Space is next. And here's where you come in. Hit the like button. Subscribe to Caspian Insight, because just like India is preparing to dominate the skies in space, we're preparing to dominate YouTube. Thanks for watching. For me, making this video felt like watching all the Star Wars films at once. But I'm glad I wasn't alone. This is Caspian Insight, signing off.